hello, hello. I'm here to help you with unit number two. First lesson, the topic of uh, the first lesson in unit in kids box two, unit two is there is there are. So you've already done this. You have introduced there is there are, and now it's time to practice new words. Uh, actually, these words from unit number two turn out to be especially difficult. But what we don't do, we don't give them these words to learn, especially we don't ask them to learn spelling of these words at home. What we're going to do, what I'm going to show you is that how, um, how we want to teach them spelling in the class, right? In a fun way. So we want them to learn in the classroom. That's why they are coming here. Right, that's what they're coming here for. So let's learn spelling of these difficult, difficult words in the classroom. That is one advantage. And another advantage of my way of doing this activity is always, always you avoid a messy classroom. Because if you just gave them this activity to do, okay, hmm, write the words and find them here, you're going to have a messy classroom. There, uh, some of your students will be super fast and um, capable and will be will finish early while some others will just remain in the dark and and then you will have to give it as a, as a homework we don't want to do it but this is a really nice activity uh, that you can turn into a fun game and uh, that you can use to teach them spelling in the class all right so open your activity books at page 10 you can have them open all right, so let me just quickly recap our alphabet, right? The difficult letters, this is Y, I, U, W, S, C, H, A, E, J, G. Okay, can you see my board? Well, I'm not pretty sure. Keep you up close. Okay. All right, let's try it this way. All right, so guys, uh, you can peek, you can look in your book and guess what is the word. So we're just playing hangman. Hmm. Okay, can you guess my letter? Sorry. S. Mm. Yes, there is S. Sorry, uh, put your hands up, please. Yes, which one? Uh, what letter? P? Mm, no, sorry, there is no P. Someone else? E? Yes, there is E. A? Yes, there is A. No, there is no H. I? Uh, I? Uh, no, there is no I. C? Yes. Okay. So what's the word? Book pencil case? No, it's a bookcase. Can you help me spell it? B O O K. Can everybody, can everyone help me spell it? B O O K C A. S E book case book case all right no 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 don't write it in your notebooks no 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 can you find the word where is book case oh that's the book case over here yes okay that's the book case all right B O O K C A S E okay they are looking at the word now you have ten seconds of silence. 10 seconds of silence. You need to look at the word and remember, try to remember. Try to practice with your eyes closed. B O O K C A S E. Yeah? Do you remember how to write it? Yeah? yeah? Okay. I'm cleaning the board. Are you ready? Okay. And for longer words, you can keep. Some letters, there is C. 
yeah? Okay, open your eyes, open your eyes. Book, case. Do you want to try to write it down? Can you write it down? Yeah? Book, case. So now your students are trying to write the word as they remember. So this is really a simple trick, but they, because uh, I don't give them words just to rewrite off the board because they will do this, do this without thinking. What you want, you want them to spend a few seconds trying to memorize it. You can give them some hints and then clean it, erase the board and encourage them, give them an extra challenge to, so that they write it on their own. And now you can find, you can find, yeah? Finding these words you can give as an extra activity or to finish at home. But uh, in the classroom they will try to practice writing, but um, uh, in, in, in a meaningful, in a good manner, like with thinking, right? Activity number two is nice, we just listen and color. So these letters are L, M, N, M, F, X, yeah, A. So they are red, yeah? L, S, N, M, F, yes. So we need to li listen and yeah, color, okay. So uh, for, the first, uh, for the first lesson from this unit, you can do page number 10. And also, uh, we immediately do, because this is easy, and you do the stickers from page 15. You do the stickers from page 15. So ask your students to take the stickers out, put them on the edge of the table, right? And you can actually play the game with stickers exactly the same way. Yeah? So, but, but, uh, well, exactly, not exactly. Right, so, now you can, uh, okay, let's try to do this. All right, so, open your activity books at page, especially encourage them to read the numbers, because in this unit they will be practicing 13, 14, so this is 15. Show me 15. Yes, okay, so. This is our classroom, yeah? There, there are, there are six pieces of furniture or accessories. There are six objects, yes? So, hmm, you need to ask what objects are there, yeah? Hmm, what's that word? And this is quite easy for them because you can, they can count letters, okay? <gasps> Is there, encourage them, you can even write it on the board, there is, and the question is inverse, is there, is there a board? No, there is no board in the classroom. Is there a ruler? No, there is no ruler. Is there a, bo a board? Yeah, sorry. Is there a board? Yes, there is a board. Yes, do you, let's spell it together. B. O A R T. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, you, you can do it correctly. Board. All right. Can you help me spell it, guys? B O A R D. Board. All right. Five seconds to learn, memorize. Five. Always counting down. Ready? Okay. So now, there, where is the board? Where, where, where? There? No. There? Yes, there. There is a board, can you write it? And once they have, will have written it, uh, uh, you can allow them to stick the sticker board. And in this you need to remember to, to use there is, there are in a very exaggerated uh, manner. Where is it? Yeah, next word. Where is it? Where's the board? Where, 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 where? There. So, um, encourage them to use there, pointing to objects to, to make it natural, right? Okay. Thank you. Have fun with unit number two.